it's quite possible that globally we need an economic overhaul. Costs have doubled in the last year. I haven't listened and learned as much as I want to about how it's affecting, but just hearing like how it's affecting other markets. The infrastructure problems, there's you know, whether whether a country is able to grow products that can sustain their society or if they're having to import them. The sharp increase in food prices over the past couple of years has raised serious concerns about the food and nutrition situation, states Yoking Lan Ron in his food policy brief entitled, Rising Food Prices, What Should Be Done? One emerging factor and currently the most talked about is, you guessed it, energy. Energy and agricultural prices have become increasingly intertwined. With oil prices at an all-time high, U.S. farmers have shifted their cultivation to biofuels. In developing countries, uh, where grain and corn are staples, and those those costs are uh, increasingly going up, so so we can make ethanol, you know, uh, to curb or to kind of pacify some of our um, uh, use of uh, petroleum. Um, I think that's having a serious impact on the world market. I know we've been facing a food crisis in places like Ethiopia again, and I think we're going to see um, more of that impact in terms of destabilizing countries uh, in Africa and, and perhaps other parts of the world as well. Um, you know, and I, and I think these issues are all connected. In regards to rising food costs, the question still remains, what should be done? Supporting the development and research on agricultural practices in developing countries and other countries. We think looking at different types of seeds, different planting techniques. So I think it's a variety of things. I think political will, I think it's, it's investing in, in research, um, and then providing support on the ground to, to local farmers um, so that they can start to, I guess, have sustainable um, farms and operations. For more information about this topic and many others, please visit us at www.ifpre.org.